Hello, and welcome to Hoddle Harmony, where the beat of the blockchain meets the rhythm of riches. Are you ready to ride the crypto wave with me? I'm Tom Durante, the maestro. See? It says right here on this little plaque that I have. I'm a crypto enthusiast who jumped into this wild world back in 2020 with a GPU mining rig. I'm bullish on Bitcoin and Cardano, but I also love chasing profits with other coins. With my music background, I bring a unique vibe to breaking down the crypto economy. Think of it as a soundtrack to your hodling journey. Here on HODL Harmony, expect weekly videos with market updates, simple technical analysis to read those charts, wallet guides to keep your coins safe, stories from my mining journey, and practical crypto tips. Whether you're new or a seasoned hodler, I'm here to learn and grow with you. I may be a few years ahead of you on your journey, but I'm not an expert, just passionate. So as always, do your own research. And please remember, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bells, and most importantly, share this video with your friends if you find it helpful. Let's find the harmony in hodling together. All right, today we are diving into Cardano, a blockchain that's making waves in the crypto world. We'll explain why it's important, how it connects to Bitcoin, and meet the genius behind it. Charles Hoskinson. Don't worry if you're new, I'll break it all down with simple terms and examples. Let's hit the right note and get started. Let's get started with why Cardano matters. Cardano is a third generation blockchain, meaning it's built to fix problems older systems like Bitcoin and Ethereum have, focusing on being scalable, sustainable, and working well with other blockchains. It's like a smartphone compared to old flip phones. More features, better tech, Unlike Bitcoin, which uses a lot of energy to process transactions, Cardano uses something called proof of stake, which is more eco-friendly, using just 0.01% of Bitcoin's energy. According to its founder in 2021, Cardano splits its system into two layers, one for handling transactions, like sending money, and another for smart contracts, which are like automatic agreements that power apps. This makes Cardano great for real-world uses, like in Ethiopia, where it's helping millions of students get digital IDs on the blockchain. What kind of apps? Things like DeFi or decentralized finance. DeFi is a way to do money stuff, like lending or borrowing, without banks. Imagine lending $100 to a friend, but instead of trusting them, imagine that, trusting a friend, a smart contract a coded agreement holds the money and makes sure they pay you back with interest. That's DeFi. It's open to everyone with the internet, often cheaper and transparent, but it can be tricky for beginners. So as always, be careful and do some research. Now, how does Cardano connect to Bitcoin? Bitcoin is the OG crypto. It's like digital gold, great for storing value and sending money without a bank, but it's not built for complex stuff like DeFi apps. That's where Cardano comes in. Bitcoin uses something called UTXO, or Unspent Transaction Output, to track your money. Think of it like coins in your pocket. If you have 100 Bitcoin, oh imagine that, it might be split into chunks, like four sets of 25. When you send 50 Bitcoin, you use two of those chunks, and the change, 50, comes back as a new chunk. This keeps things secure by making sure you can't spend the same money twice. Cardano takes this idea further with EUTXO or Extended Unspent Transaction Output. It's like UTXO but with extra powers. Imagine a locked box with money inside. With EUTXO, you can add rules like this box can only be opened after a year. This lets Cardano handle DeFi apps, like lending platforms, more securely and efficiently than Bitcoin's basic system. Now, there's a project called Bitcoin OS, Grail Bridge, that aims to connect Bitcoin and Cardano, letting Bitcoin holders use their BTC in Cardano's DeFi apps. It started with a test version in February 2025, allowing Bitcoin to move to other blockchains, like Ethereum, but it's not fully live yet. The plan is to have it fully working by mid-2025, including with Cardano. After more testing and security checks, this could bring Bitcoin's huge $1.3 trillion pool of funds into the Cardano ecosystem. Cardano's founder says it'll make Bitcoin DeFi a massive opportunity, potentially bigger than Ethereum or Solana. 
So who's the brain behind Cardano? Meet Charles Hoskinson, a mathematician and crypto visionary born in 1987. He helped create Ethereum, the second biggest blockchain, in 2013, but left in 2014 after disagreeing on its direction. In 2015, he started Cardano with a company called IOHK, standing for Input Output Hong Kong launching it in 2017 to solve real-world problems like access to finance and education. Huskinson's a big thinker. He's worth $1.2 billion as of 2024 and lives on a bison ranch in Wyoming. He's even into wild stuff like glow-in-the-dark plants and building a clinic to research how to reverse aging. He's passionate about Cardano's future, especially after 2024 Chang Hard Fork which let the community take full control of Cardano. No central boss anymore. Some folks in the community have mixed feelings about him, but his vision keeps Cardano pushing forward. And I highly respect him. He's incredibly intelligent. If you watch any of his live streams, it quickly goes over your head, but he tries to explain it in a very straightforward way that everybody can hopefully understand. One cool thing Cardano's working on is Midnight a privacy layer that's been in development for years. Midnight is like a sidekick to Cardano, adding privacy for transactions and smart contracts. Imagine sending money or making a deal without anyone knowing the details. That's what Midnight does, using special tech to keep things secure and private. It's also set to help Bitcoin users, with Charles Hoskinson saying in late 2024 that Midnight will be Bitcoin's first privacy layer, letting Bitcoin users do private DeFi transactions with just a wallet update. It's expected to be a big deal in 2025, so stay tuned. Let's wrap up with some quick Cardano facts. Right now, Cardano's coin ADA, ADA is worth 69 cents, and its total value is around $12.5 billion, showing it's a major player. Cardano also has a treasury worth $1.5 billion that the community uses to fund projects, like building new DeFi apps, without anyone controlling it, unlike Bitcoin or Ethereum. So Cardano's eco-friendly tech, DeFi apps, privacy with Midnight, and future Bitcoin teamwork make it a blockchain to watch. It's perfect for beginners because it's secure and has real-world uses, like DeFi lending or digital IDs. Stick around for our market update. We'll check out ADA and BTC's latest moves. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share this video with your friends, and follow me here on YouTube, on Instagram, as well as X for more HODL Harmony vibes. Let's keep the rhythm going. Let's find the harmony in HODLing together.